Hello guys, today I want to show you a test, a brake test with a torpedo coaster brake. And you can see in the photo, it is a Switzerland military bike with many stones. And my hub brother from Switzerland has done this test in 2011 and he has told me Altogether have 200 or 210 kilogram and it's a bike like this in front only with a stuck brake and normal uh, Switzerland military bike has a Böni brake at the rear but my hub brother has unmounted it from the hub and so you can see it. Uh, better in the video what's happened with this hub yes 12 minutes he is driven down from a hill a half pass in switzerland and that's a bike rack he has mounted a video camera and yes we can start this video now Look, this was the time, 16 September 2011, and it is a third test. Stop it a little, and my hub brother has done two other tests. Look at the color of the hub shell, but the first test was very, yes, very soft for the hub and after it he has repacked it and the second the second um test was without stones and now we can visit a video what's happened with a break in a torpedo coaster break if you standing with your feet back pedaling and using the brake through the time and let's get started Look at the grease between the hub shell and the lever cone. The grease comes out of the hub. Let's think about what's happened with this hub. He stands in the brake with 200 kilis, kilogram on a hard pass and I think it's a great work what, what my hub brother has done. Now the grease going black and it's away now. Now it's too hot. Smog. Smog is coming out of the hub. It smokes. Yes. I have asked my hub brother why you have done it and he has told me I have children and I only use hubs. I knew, I know what's happened with it and I think this is a really good reason. The color of the hub shell now is yellow and gets a little bit later blue. My hub brother has taken temperature measurements but uh, it stops at 240 degrees because 
the measure the measurements cannot go higher we think maybe the hub has had 300 or 350 degrees in two or three minutes all grease and the hub is burned out If you do a, t a test like this with a st stuck brake in front and a back pedaling brake in in your back wheel, I think you trust you trust in the torpedo coaster brake. Look, now it stucks. The brake cone goes into the brake shoe. I stop it a little. A torpedo coaster brake. We have two versions of brake shoes. A steel version. It is shown in the video, and this is a brass brake. This is a younger version of a favorite, and for this brake shoe, you need brake grease for steel brakes and with a uh, brass brake it's better you take Vaseline and I think the older version maybe it's a little bit softer and better to use with this strong hill but my hub brother has done it with a steel brake and let's look the first stack We think the the brake cone stuck into the into the brake shoe, and I show you a little bit later a photo of this original brake cone inside this hub. My hub brother has told me sometimes he stops to take the temperature measurements and at the brake arm there are 120 degrees and at the end of the frame something around 80. The torpedo coaster brake was into, introduced from Ernst Sachs in 1903 and 1910. The model 9 or 10 introduced and all the parts in this hub. It's a younger version of the hub shells from 1969 or 1970. And all parts from an old 
torpedo coaster brake around 1910 or 20 you can take it out and put into this hub shell and also otherwise the parts out of this hub you can put in a, in a hub shell from 1920 and all parts are manufactured for 80 years to be compatible in every torpedo coaster brake. Next, next stack of the brake. This is a brake cone. And look at this. Some parts are broken broken away from the cone and we think at this the brake cone stuck into the brake shoe and so you have to wait and drive a little bit later again I think he stops to take the measure the measurements from the temperature. The parts out of this hub shell, around 1970 or a little bit younger, are in very good industrial standard. If you have an old torpedo to repair, you can buy a little bit cheaper hub like this. It looks outside a little bit different. And take all the parts from the younger version out and put into an old up and you will have a refurbed good hub for the next 10, 20, 30 years. After this video, it was a present from my hub brother from Switzerland for me. I trust the torpedo more and I create Yes, two words on my German website at the end of every I post. I say Torpedo Forever and it's, it's really good. It's a really good hub. I like it very much. 200 kilograms and it breaks. Ten minutes later. Now my hub friend will stop and look, 11 minutes later, you can use it a bit longer, but I think the hill 
this at the end and my hub browser told me five minutes later the hub stacks complete we think about the heat inside it grows and so he has to wait five minutes longer to draw the wheel again yes it was my video about a brake test and I won't show you uh, next I have I drove down a hill and took with me Vaseline and every time I fill it in the oiler and so we can say it is not to kill a hub and you can use your hub longer bye bye on torpedo thank you my friend for this test